Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. This is Servant Soldier, Sister Amina Light with you here, 17 Star General in the Army of Christ. Still moving forward, battle ready, praying on the floor, just focusing on God and fixing our eyes on Him and what He is calling us to accomplish. Today is October. It is Thursday, October 21st. 2021, moving forward in the things of God and the way of God. Now it's 10 more days left until the end of the month. We know what the end of the month is, and we're here to pray down the kingdom of Satan. The prayer point for today is, will you go? Will you go? So I'm here to pray for you to have the mind, the willingness, the heart, and the motivation to go, to go where God is sending you, to go where God is calling you, calling you to a higher place, calling you to a greater place, calling you to the mission field, calling you to evangelize, calling you to spread his gospel, calling you to other cities, calling you to other states, calling you to other countries, calling you to people that are in the highways and the byways, calling you to your family members. Sometimes your family members are your first assignment. Sometimes your family members are not your assignment. If your families are not your assignment, don't walk out of alignment. That rhymes. If your family members are not your assignment, don't walk out of alignment. Trust me when I tell you. There used to be a time where I thought my family members were my assignment. They are not my assignment. Then someone tried to tell me they are your assignment. And I'm like, mm, I don't think so. And God is like, no. They're not. If they were, I would tell you that. And not to say anything against family. You love them. You do what you need to do. And the Lord tells you how to navigate that situation. It's individual and it's personal. So will you go today? Will you go where God is calling you? Will you go where God is drawing you? Let us pray. Father God, we just thank you for the motivation. We thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, the Great Commission. We thank you for the call. We thank you for the discipleship. We thank you for the evangelism. <clears throat> we thank you for the mission field. <clears throat> Excuse me. We thank you for the souls. We thank you for the increase of the building of your kingdom. We thank you for how you're moving rapidly throughout every single nation. We thank you for how you are magnifying your power. <clears throat> we thank you for how you lead us, not into temptation, but you deliver us from the wicked one. We thank you for your great and magnificent, magnificent awesomeness. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over this prayer this morning. I am here to just pray for your people, Lord, so guide me in what you would like me to pray and to say, to be an impartation and to be of a help and of a benefit to your so great a people. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you be motivated and strengthened today in your mind and heart, that you have a mind that is willing. If there's any area of your life where there's unwillingness, where there's doubt, where there's a place of not making that final decision to take that leap of faith and to move forward in what God is calling you to do and telling you to do. I pray that all of that be pulled down and cast down in the name of Jesus and that you have a zeal and a fire in your belly, a zeal and a fire in your mind, a zeal and a fire in your heart, a zeal and a fire in your hands, a zeal and a fire in your feet to be swift to go do good, to be swift to spread the gospel, to be swift to teach in season and out of season, to be swift to be a doer of the word, to be swift to go and be a witness to different ones, to be swift to tell the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ and his saving power. I'm praying right now that you have that quickening inside of your mortal body, that quickening to want to go quickly, 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 quickly to be about the father's business. I pray that you have an ear to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying to you, the church. I pray that you have eyes to see what the Lord is revealing to you for the journey, for the mission. I pray that you have the heart and the mind to discern exactly where God is leading you, 
and how to navigate that journey. I pray that you remember that your steps are ordered by the Lord. All you need to do is your part and he will do the rest. I pray that the Holy Spirit bring back remembrance that you are infilled with the word of God and the word of God surround you as a shield, as a protection, as a buckler, as you go to and fro throughout the land. I pray that you have the willingness to want to go. I pray that you have the willingness to want to be about the Father's business. I pray that you want that you have the willingness to say yes to the challenges of God. I pray that you have the willingness and the mindset and the attitude and the disposition to want to move further in God, higher in God, greater in God, going all the way where he is sending you to go. I pray that the power of the Lord rest upon you from on high to be able to make some critical decisions in this hour that will shape and will mold your destiny. All those decisions that must be made, they must be made in the spirit of Christ and through the word of God. I pray that you have wise counsel surrounding you that can assist you and advise you according to the scriptures and according to what the spirit of the Lord is speaking to your heart. I pray that you get a confirmation on all that you are seeking from the Lord in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord reveal himself to you even more so that there's no shadow of a doubt that he is your king of glory and he's leading your story, your life, and your destiny. I pray that you remember that all of your steps follow behind the steps of the Lord. I pray that you remember that the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. I pray that you remember that you've been thought of before you were in your mother's womb and the Lord had a plan, a destiny, and a hope and a future for you. I pray that you remember that all things are possible through Christ who strengthened you. I pray that you remember that even when there may be some lack in some areas, that you know a God that is not of lack and that you can tap into his kingdom finances. You can tap into faith, hope, grace, and mercy. I pray that you remember that the Lord has accomplished and finished everything for you when he died on the cross and nailed all your sins to it. Now you are redeemed and brought into a new life in Christ. You are a new creation and you were created to give the Lord praise. You were created to do his will. You were created to go where he sends you. You were created to be ever mindful of what he is calling you to do. You were created to have your eyes fixed on him permanently. You were created to give your body as a living sacrifice, pure and holy. That's your reasonable service. You were created to look to the king of glory, to know that he is the one that is showing you all things you need to see. I pray that you remember that you've got to have the willingness of mind, heart, body, soul, spirit, will, and emotions to surrender unto God to submit unto God, to draw close to him, to resist the devil, and the devil will flee from you. Remember that this faith walk is a walk of hope, a walk of endurance, a walk of strength in the Lord and the power of his might. Remember that this is not for the swift. This is not for the faint of heart. Faint not, but keep going. Faint not, but run on. Faint not, go and see what the end gonna be. Faint not, lift up the Lord most high. Remember, there is no doubt in God. There is no shadow of turning in God. There is no dark place in God. He is all light. He is all light. He is all light and he has won the fight for you. So now go with the willingness. Go with the faith. Go with the hope and glory. Go where he sends you. Say what he tells you to say. Stand when he tells you to stand. Do not be afraid of their faces. Do not be afraid of persecution. Do not be afraid when they say that they don't like what you're telling them. Do not be afraid when you present the gospel. The Lord said in his word, he does not give us the spirit of fear. He has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind. Fear is torment. It comes from the enemy. But the Lord gives you holy boldness. He gives you confidence. When you go and you bring the gospel and they don't receive you, it's not you that they're rejecting. They're rejecting the God in you. They're rejecting Jesus Christ. They're rejecting the Holy Spirit. 
and all you have to do is pray for them. You don't worry. You leave them to God. Once you deliver the message, your job is done. Your hands are clean. You lift up holy hands. You do what the Lord says. Be a doer of the word. Remember, you have to have the willingness. You have to have the fire. You have to have the zeal. You have to have the desire to want more of God, to chase after God, to want more God than you want your food, to want more God than you want your television and your football and your basketball program. You have to want God more than you want to please your children. I said it. You have to want God more than you want to please the people at the job. You have to want God more than those that live close amongst you, your neighbors. You have to want more of God. And you want more of God, you'll know how to please your husband the right way. When you desire more of God and you get more of God, you'll know how to please your children the right way. Everything is biblical. So I pray that you have the willingness and the desire to chase after God more than ever before. It all begins with the Lord. I pray that you have the willingness today to go where God is sending you. God bless you. 17 Star General signing off. Peace be unto you. See you again.